Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tara's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking on to my video. This video will be for all my beautiful, my handsome Tauruses out there. How you doing? How you doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that doesn't, what doesn't, leave that shit on out. Okay? Also, this could be the past, the present, or the future. And be aware of scammers in the comment section. Pretend to be me. Ask for a little bit of change. Honey, in the comment section. No, ma'am. No, sir. Okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Love, love, love. Love. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Somebody looking at you as the baddest thing on the planet. Like, wow. You understand what I'm saying? This person, like, they'll drink your motherfucking bath water. Okay, you the best thing coming. Somebody sees your potential. Like, I won't even say potential. Some of you are already there. Okay, with the Empress card and the motherfucking Justice card. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra. You have Libra in your chart. Highly aspect it in your chart. Okay, but it's like Taurus. I'm not, somebody just sees that you are so balanced. Like you are, you, em, you embody peace and harmony and love. Okay, and just, you know, everything of that nature, baby. You are a walking goddess. And this is how somebody is truly, truly looking at you. Okay, and it's like so some of you you could be moving forward with a Libra or Cancer or a Virgo. So, but somebody sees how spiritual you are, how enlightened you are, how wise you are, and they are ready to move forward with you, honey. Like somebody is proud to have you on their arm or the shoulder or whatever you want to call it, or this is what they're thinking. Okay, or you know what I'm saying envisioning here at this time. All right, when it comes to you, but it's like damn, somebody. It, they feel like they done, met, they done met their match, baby. Okay, when it comes to you. Some of you can have a black or a white vehicle. Um, I just see somebody feel like they are the man or they are the woman. If they are able to be next to somebody like you. Okay, is the energy that I'm getting, love. So, yeah. Some of you could definitely be your own entrepreneurs. You could definitely be very creative. Um, some of you could work from home. All right, but it's just definitely something you do with your creative abilities or what have you. Okay, but you don't do really too much. You definitely just sit, collect. Okay, hey, all right, Taurus, all right. Um, but you ain't, you're not stuck. You're an individual that's not stuck here. You're, you're an individual that has a goal in mind. They have you very, uh, um, self disciplined. I should say as well here, Taurus. Okay, boo. All right, but here's the thing. Be careful who you call your friend. Be careful who you have around you. Okay, this is where the shit take a twist and a motherfucking turn. Um, not only is somebody seeing that in you, but others see that in you as well. And it could be somebody that is in your circle or somebody that's close to you. Okay, um, seven of swords energy. Yeah, we got the seven of swords and the three of cups. Um, or somebody here has a deceptive way of trying to reunite with you here, Taurus. Okay, this person is definitely being judged at this time. The more you walk away from this person, okay, the more this person is um, trying to study you, okay, figure you out, see what you have going on, okay? So the more you're not telling somebody, the more it's like they have to know about you is the energy that I'm getting here, okay, Taurus? Um, but this is this person's plan and goal at the end of the day. They don't want someone that you're dealing with or, you know, if they know this person or are tied to this person, they don't want this person to make a decision when it comes to you. Okay, say, for example, this person want to date you. They're trying to confuse them. They don't want this person to get any type of commitment with you. And it's all because they're jealous of you. All right, now, we got the three of swords. This person is in some type of nonchalant, sad, depressed ass energy okay um three of fucking pinnacles they see how beautiful you are they see how somebody places you on a pedestal and it irks their nerves okay is what i'm getting is what i'm getting so this irking somebody nerves okay to see how this person is putting you on a pedestal. They want to be looked at in that way. Is what I'm getting. But they're in the Ten of Swords energy. What what I'm, I'm getting is. With this Ten of Swords. They're trying to end something before it even happens. They want you to be single. Whoever this person is. They want you to be single. 
and uh, some of you have children they want you to be a single mother but even if that is the case baby okay if you're the empress baby you could take care of you and your motherfucking kids by yourself you don't need nobody to help you okay it's the energy i'm getting all right but they don't want you to get to that ultimate fulfillment all right, your eight of cups, and the, they want somebody to walk away from you. They could want an Aquarius to walk away from you or something of that nature, but honey, baby, bye. Okay, we got the world card. They want something to just completely end. This is the energy that they are in, okay? They don't want you to have whatever this is, okay? It's irking their nerves to see somebody. Not only are you this independent, self-sufficient individual towards the self-discipline here that has morals and standards, it's like, and you carry yourself a certain way, not only that, it's just like the confidence that you withhold, okay? They don't want they don't want somebody to see that. Okay, wow, that's so petty. We have here, yeah, confused. Because somebody's confused. Somebody doesn't want somebody to see you in this light. Then we have here an offer. What I tell you, I can't make it the fuck up. Somebody wants this offer. They want they want this to be confusion around this offer. Or they could be saying, like, nah, girl. He not what you think he is. He just wants you for this. Oh, da, da, da. You know, I just lying and making little petty ass lies. Moving on. Thank you, next. Period. You could be moving on from this person or this is what this person wants this person to do or you to do. They don't want you to consider this offer. Yeah, moving. Ooh. Some of you could be physically moving away. So for some of y'all, this could have been like a neighbor or some shit. Or you just moving away from a community. People you live around. Yeah, dirty offer. Boom. Wow, love triangle, third party, multiple office choices. Wow, I can't make this shit up. So somebody wants you a part of a triangle or they just want you to think that this is a dirty offer, that somebody's giving you a dirty offer, something of that nature. So y'all be careful. Yeah, marrying for money. What I tell you, fake fucking flexing, okay, and running. So yeah, somebody here is marrying for money here. They could feel like, oh, this person wants you only for your money or this person married for money and they fake, fake it, acting like they're rich and whatever like that. When really they see somebody actually fucking love the fuck out of you and want to be with you and hold you to a high pedestal and they don't want you to have it because they don't have it. Okay? Ooh. Yeah, this person could always be partying here. What I motherfucking tell you karmic ass friend so this is a karmic ass friend you cannot fully trust this individual they got secret competition with you and they got tension on the low so this is a hating ass fucking friend all right this bitch could even be going through legal issue court issues whatever okay always partying don't got their priorities straight they probably are all even neglecting their motherfucking kids okay not taking care of their kids properly all right yeah creativity moocher so this person steals off you, okay, steal off your goddamn um work, try to feed off you and all of that shit too. So some of y'all definitely know who this person is, that's what I'm talking about, okay? He has cyberbullying, saying slick shit, subliminal messages on the low, okay, yeah. This person is also obsessive, like clout hungry, do say anything just to get attention. This person is triggered, what I tell you y'all, this person is triggered by you. Okay, this person is really lonely because they don't know themselves and they see you over here with all this confident fear. Okay, so it's and it really irks them to know that people really fuck with you for being for being you. Okay, you moving the fuck on. Maybe you moved on, maybe you relocated already. All right, and you don't got nothing to do with this person. This person just hating on you. Okay, because maybe they received the dirty motherfucking offer. Maybe they're in love, love triangles here and you're not about that life. Okay, you got your priorities straight. Okay, you also have a um. A healthy relationship or you're about to okay and they didn't have that so they're jealous okay so y'all beware you know beware motherfuckers like that okay boo boo you just empress honey you ain't got to do too much honey you going to attract you are what you attract and that's just period point blank okay anyway i love you guys so freaking much y'all need anything from me look in the description box below love you guys see you guys next time bye